Today we are going to look into the three hormones that are behind prostate enlargement, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia. And then more importantly, we will discuss the best scientific approach to lower these hormones and shrink your prostate once and for all. So I'm going to give you the data and prove how powerful it can shrink your prostate. All right. Now, if it's your first time watching my video, I'll be glad if you subscribe to my channel. So let's jump right in. The first hormone we are going to talk about today is actually estrogen. Now, estrogen is typically the female sex hormone, but that does not mean as a man, your body does not produce estrogen. Your body actually produces estrogen, but in a lesser concentration, in a lesser amount. And in fact, your testosterone is actually the precursor for estrogen, which means that estrogen are produced from testosterone. So what happens to most men as they start aging is that their testosterone level actually decreases. And this decrease in most of the time can be due to the increased expression of aromatase, which is responsible for the conversion of your testosterone into the potent form of estrogen, which is the 17 beta estradiol in many parts of your body. And then the prostate gland is one of the major targets for 17 beta estradiol. Once it gets there, it's going to induce cell growth and multiplication, which is going to result in prostate enlargement. So there are some evidence-based natural remedy that can block aromatase activity. All right. Number one is by consuming cruciferous vegetable like kale and the broccoli. The phytonutrient in this food can help to block the activity of aromatase. All right. And then there is green tea, lemon, flaxseed, and white button mushroom. All of these foods here contain the phytonutrients that can help inhibit the activity of this enzyme that converts your testosterone into 17 beta estradiol, which is a potent form of estrogen. All right. Now, the second hormone that is responsible for prostate enlargement is actually insulin. Now, insulin is an anabolic hormone, which means that they are responsible for the synthesis of compounds, some complex compounds like proteins, fat, and the glycogen, which is a storage form of carbohydrates in human beings or animals. All right? And then insulin is one of the most dominant type of growth hormone in the body. Now, when you have too much of this hormone, which is hyperinsulinemia, that is going to cause your insulin to bind to the IGF-1 receptor. Now, IGF-1 is also a growth hormone, but it is very similar to insulin. So because of their similarity, insulin can easily bind to that receptor and enter the prostate to induce the growth of prostate. So when you are consuming all of those foods that increase insulin secretion, that is going to result in prostate enlargement. So what you can do in this condition to lower your insulin level is first of all by cutting back on your carbohydrate intake, your sugar high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, bread, white rice, pasta, pastries, and then other things that can increase insulin secretion. All right. Now, the second thing to do is to eat smaller portion of foods throughout the day, because the larger the amount of food you are consuming, the larger the amount of insulin your pancreas is going to release. And that can really affect your prostate. All right. And then you also need to be consuming a lot of fiber because fiber helps to decrease insulin secretion. Exercise also decreases insulin secretion as well as increasing your insulin sensitivity. Now, the last thing is by doing intermittent fasting, which is a pattern of eating. Now, the intermittent fasting plan I would recommend you start doing is the 16 hours of intermittent fasting and then eight hours of eating window. That is going to help lower your insulin level. Now, the number three hormone that most of the time is responsible for prostate enlargement is dihydrotestosterone. Now, dihydrotestosterone is a very potent androgen that is made from testosterone by this enzyme here called 5-alpha reductase. Now, in a healthy young individual, only a small amount of testosterone are actually converted into dihydrotestosterone, less than 5% or so. But as you start aging, the activity of 5-alpha reductase increases, and that is going to make you to have a large amount of dihydrotestosterone in your body, while your testosterone level decreases, 
you're going to start having those symptoms of erectile dysfunction. So once dihydrotestosterone binds to its androgen receptors, it stimulates the proliferation of those cells of your prostate, which can result in prostate enlargement. Right. Now there are a couple of natural remedies and nutrients you can use to shrink your prostate by blocking this enzyme 5 alpha reductase. And the best nutrient for that is actually zinc. All right. So when you are getting zinc from your diet or through supplementation, that can actually help block the activity of this enzyme 5 alpha reductase because zinc is actually anti-androgenic, which means that it can help regulate your androgen it can help inhibit your androgen and aside from zinc there are other some natural remedies you can use to block the activity of 5 alpha reductase all right now number one is saw palmetto and then there is pumpkin seeds and there is pigeon extract all of these remedies are going to help block the activity of 5 alpha reductase and this is going to help you shrink your prostate so guys these are some of the hormones estrogen insulin and then dihydrotestosterone which are responsible for prostate enlargement. But most of the time, enlarged prostate is caused by dihydrotestosterone, which is a very potent form of androgen. All right? So guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment below. Thanks for watching.